Hmm. Well, I'm not the marshal, so I can't really tell him to follow me, can I? Let's speak to him anyway, shall we? Try to speak to him. Do it. Yes. In camp last night, I learned that you defeated Conan Valdus. I hope you treated him chivalrously when you captured him. Yes, I did. Completely. <laughs> May I suggest a course of action? Ooh. Yes. Will you follow me? I have a plan. All right, I will do that, he says. Okay, very nice indeed. So he's going to follow us now, hopefully. Yes, he is. Okay. So we might be able to get him included in the next Jatu army fight. That would be great. Oh my, okay, so the Fiedsvein are now offering us a peace agreement. And seeing as they own absolutely nothing in the land, I am going to accept. So there we are. Very nice right to rule, and let's just take a quick look at the map, just in case they've ninjaed something from us. But I don't believe that would be the case. So there we are. Very good indeed. And now we'll just run around and try and find the last Jatu army. Is this them here? No, Jatu horsemen. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I will cut away, and once I have found them, I will see you soon. Okay, so I have found the last Jatu army, and now you can probably see why they have been undefeated for this long. They actually have 1,467 units in their army, and I am going to hopefully be able to run away, or at least try to kite them as much as I possibly can, and then get our friend over here. Who is this? Yes, this fellow. And hopefully we will get into the battle with his assistance. So, just before we go in, I will level up a few of our troops, and then we will go in for the final Skirmish versus the Jatu, I hope. Let's go. Jatu. Yes, here we go. Okay, so this is the definitive battle. 900, or should I say 899 of our troops fit for battle against their 1523. So, let us now engage. Oh my. Okay, so let's see where they've spawned. They're not actually moving that fast. I thought they would be a little quicker, but maybe they don't want us to engage on the hill here because they have the disadvantage. But it appears that our fellow, or should I say our ally, is deciding that it would be a great idea to charge right in, so maybe we should join him. I think maybe we should join him, yes. Let us charge our very small amount of cavalry. I don't think we have any. We have eight. Okay. Well, I'm going to attempt to do so, but I think it's probably a bad idea. Oh my, he has kind of forced my hand here, I think, a little bit too much. I hope this guy knows what he's doing. Oh no. Okay, take him down, take him down. Yes. Yes, okay, Jatu Lancer. Quite difficult to take it down. Take out this fellow here. And, ooh, careful. Oh my, my horse. No, my horse. It's actually still slow, I think, unless it has actually regenerated by now. I don't think it has, though. Which is <laughs> a very bad memory loss on my part right there. Okay, we're actually not doing too badly. Although, it could be better, I think. If we had held our ground, I think it most likely would have been a lot more positive. Reinforcements have arrived already. Oh my. Maybe I shouldn't have asked this guy to help us. He seems to be sabotaging our efforts. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Okay. Take out this fellow. Yes. There we are. Stab him. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Jetu Raider gone down. And I think now... We will... Ooh, careful. That was close. I think now we will try to flank around the side, maybe kill a few of these units here. Thin out the flock, as it were, and hope that our units are actually doing a good job. Oh no, this Lord's units are actually more of a liability, maybe. I am not entirely sure, really, because it seems as though they're just running in and dying. 
as you can see, we are mostly doing all of the killing here. So maybe that wasn't the best idea to ask him to follow us. I can only imagine what it's going to be like when we fight the Noldor castle itself. And having units from all of our vassals just completely fail at using tactics. What am I saying? <laughs> using tactics? That's my motto. Yes. But yes, that was a little bit foolhardy, I think, of him. To charge in head on. It was a little bit too... I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't want to insult him, because he is helping us out, so... <laughs> yes, he can hear me through the wires and the airwaves. Oh my. Okay, let's take out these guys as much as we can. Come on. They're in a nice clump here for us to be able to take them down with a few slashes. Maybe? Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh my, okay. That was a rather serious counterattack there. Not a lot of damage, but you could feel the reverberation of the mace to my face. Yes. <laughs> okay. It seems as though we're actually not doing that badly, even though he completely abandoned strategy and tactics. Our ally, that is. But yes, it appears we're actually not doing too badly. Yes, 26 of us are alive. 11 allies. We didn't actually lose that many. I was rather surprised at how few losses we actually accrued there. But yes, not too bad. Not too bad. Maybe he will have revised his strategy for this next round. Because we do need to retain as many units as humanly possible due to, obviously, them outnumbering us at the moment. Very nice renown rewards, though, for each of these. 55 for each victory. Always nice. Okay, this is a lot better this time. Good work. Ally. I don't actually know how to pronounce his name, so... <laughs> I'm just going to call him Fellow and Ally all this whole time, apparently, as... Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, let us now... Wait for their... Forces... To engage us, I am hopefully going to place our infantry a little bit closer to them. Get our cavalry out there as well. The only unfortunate thing is, is that we have very few of our own units on the battlefield. As you can see, we only have 34 of our own units and our allies have 41. So I'm not entirely sure how that is possible. They must have a higher tactic skill than we do. But yes, we will now engage them, or at least my ally is deciding that it would be a great idea to charge all of his cavalry in, which I suppose is probably quite a good tactic here. Is it? Maybe. I at least hope it is, so we will soon see. Ooh, I took out his horse, but not him. Oh, that was not good. Okay, relax. We're fine. We're still fine. It's all good. Oh my. Okay, here we go. Take out his horse again. Ah, uh, damn. We are the Horse Slayer. I should just rename myself. Horse Slayer Queen Iceni. That is a little bit too long, though, maybe. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, it seems we're actually not losing too many units, which I was a little bit afraid of, because obviously the Jatu, they are renowned for one-hit killing people with their lances. But fortunately, it seems as though they have not been very successful in that area. At least in these sets of skirmishes. I can't speak for previous experience, of course, because I did get taken out in the previous episodes. 
Launch to the face. That was very, very nice indeed. Okay, come on. Take him down. Yes. Ooh, new reinforcements and new enemies at the exact same time. Does that bode well for us? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. We have already forced them to actually gain reinforcements once, I think, so that is a win in itself. Okay. Well, there's not much to say, I don't think. We will be victorious in the end. I hope. <laughs> it seems as though we are doing quite well. And now I've just completely realized that, of course, my horse is still injured. Because, as you can see, it's actually moving slower than even the armored horses that the Jatu battle riders use. So, yeah, that is a little bit of eye of the ball action right there. If any of you play tennis and you've been coached or something similar to that. <laughs> When I was younger, I actually used to play tennis with my father, because he is actually a tennis coach. And he would always say, keep your eye on the ball and you will hit it, you know? <laughs> and I would try to do that, but obviously, as I grew a little older and my eyesight deteriorated because I don't actually have very good eyesight at all. It became quite difficult to play tennis, I must say. Obviously, apart from that, I had a few other issues in my life at that point, and yes, I was not able to go outside as much as I would like anyway, so... Yeah, there's a bit of backstory on the life of a reformist right there. I don't usually open up this much, but I thought to myself, well, what else is there to talk about? I may as well talk about myself, which is very self-centered, I realize, but I am talking to myself as it is anyway. Although, you guys will soon hear this through the Nether, and yeah, you'll see it obviously on your screens. Whatever you may be watching this on, whether it be a tablet, a mobile, the TV even. You can get YouTube on TV nowadays, which I thought was absolutely amazing, even though <laughs> I don't really use the TV for internet browsing, I have to say. But I suppose if you have a rather large TV, it would be quite nice to watch a high-res video. And speaking of high-resolution videos, I may be increasing my quality to 1080p soon. I am hoping that is going to be the case anyway. I have to check and see what type of monitor I would like to get, of course, because, yeah, there are so many choices, and I wouldn't like to make a mistake in that area. I would like to potentially get the best one possible so that I would be able to give you the best quality, of course, because I realize 720p is not exactly crystal clear, and I would hope that 1080p would solve those issues. And here our ally goes in once again, charging straight forward into the Jatu Lancers. Not exactly sound tactical maneuvers right there. But I suppose if they have their lances raised, then it is not too big of a deal. But yes, it is seeming that this horse is actually giving us quite a lot of issues in the way that we cannot charge as fast as we would like, and therefore not be able to do as much damage as we like, because we don't get a high enough speed bonus. Although, that could just be my excuse for being terrible at fighting in this particular round, because, as you can probably see, I'm talking way too much, and my concentration is dwindling in that area. But it seems okay so far. My units are doing quite a good job. And that is actually a testament to, if you have a good army, you don't need to be a good player. <laughs> and that somewhat stands up here. I would think. I'm not a bad player, but I am not the best, obviously, so yeah. 
My forces are supporting me rather heavily in this particular instance. I have shown myself to be rather resourceful at times. Maybe when I fight at very low HP in some sieges, I have survived for extended periods of time. But obviously, eventually, after that, being taken out by a stray bolt or arrow. And in some cases, maybe even a bullet, depending on the series you're watching, of course. It seems we're having minor skirmishes all over between a handful of units. So I have to advance quite fast to each one to get in the action as best I can. And this indeed also stresses the point that my horse is exceptionally slow because I get there and then the action is over. So we will definitely have to switch out this horse after we have completed this battle. Take that, Miss Mountain Raider. How dare you try to pummel my horse. Did you get that? Did you get that joke? I think that's a gymnastics joke. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even understand my own jokes, so how can you? That's terrible. I do apologize. <laughs> okay, well, it seems as though our units are actually doing a pretty good job, and I think I ordered them to charge in beforehand, although some of my units are just standing back here. I suppose they're mainly archers, that's probably why. They're going to be firing off a lot of their projectiles. As you can see, it is actually a lame Noldor Spirit Horse at the moment, which is very unfortunate. So next time I get in my inventory, I will be swapping it out for one of the other ones. I hope I still have some horses in my inventory, actually, now that I think of it. And a Jatu Raider actually fell unconscious there from nothing at all. Maybe from falling damage or something. Not entirely sure how that can happen on a map like this. I know it can happen in a siege very easily, but in a map such as this, I don't believe it would be that simple. Okay, come on, let's get into the fray here. Take them down. Oh yes, also I must mention that most of the Ravenstern vassals have actually defected from the Ravenstern and joined you-know-who. Yes, they've joined the Fierd's Vein, so... <laughs> so yes, that's not exactly the most positive result I could have hoped for, but I suppose... Seeing as the Fierd's Vein... I don't know, seems to have the strongest army? I really don't think they have the strongest army compared to the forces of Sini Magni, of course, but I suppose the Ravenstern believe that to be the truth.